not standing still. Joining him in the review chairs are none other than Aesthete Athletes Extraordinaire, Aragon Lionheart. And so surreal, he's the real deal, Arthur Dali. In the studio, we have the three bruvs, Gondwana's finest living sculptures. Also in situ is Damien. My name is Emmins, latest exhibits, duck chair, and goldfish in a gold cage. Plus, Sharon Tracy's flute on a plinth. Extraordinary or just plain ordinary? Works of art are not worth a wet fart. We'll be finding out later with Aragon and Arthur. We have an exclusive inny with the gruesome twosome, Jake the Fake and Dino Soros, the dopey dipstick brothers. Also, there's an exclusive preview of their collaboration with Damien. My name is Emin, a reconstruction of Bruegel's The Blind Leading the Blind. Before we hear from Aragon and Arthur, earlier I spoke to Trace on her mobile. I noticed in the title of your piece, Flute on a Plinth, you spell flute with a small f. What was your thinking behind this? The flute in question is actually a clarinet. I hope this clears the air. Beam me out, Spotty. Aragon. I've always felt that Tracy's work is a testament to her deep knowledge and understanding of art. Coupled with her attachment to society's underlying current of trivial pursuits, she has definitely improved the world with her insight and thoughtfulness. The world is a much deeper, richer place. Now Tracy's models are in it. She's the one that's richer, and she's about as deep as a puzzle. Come on, Arthur. She has exhibits in museums all over Gondwana land. These curators are experts. Popularity is no guide to quality. The trustees in the tent ignore the cash I in Darwin. Some experts, they will fall for any old way of improving our problem, regardless of merit. If she has an art degree, yeah, fine. That'll be nice to take you very much. You can't be as practical as you Keenel, we'll leave them to it for the mo. Here to perform live in the studio, Gondwana's finest, the Free Bruvs. <laughs> Well, if you thought the Brunos was fat, cop a load of this. Jake and Dino dipstick at last year's Arty Farty Award show, where the gruesome twosome reconstructed some of Gilberto and Georgina's finest moments. was then, this is now. Here's the dopey dipsticks with Damien, my name is Emin, the Gleason threesome, reenacting Peter Bruegel's The Blind Leading the Blind. Is art standing still? They're not exactly breaking new ground. Exactly. It's ground to a halt. You need more than grounded to get off the ground floor. To break new ground, you need to be more grounded. Then you hold your own ground. Otherwise, your art will be groundless. I think you ground out a result there, Arthur. It's Alpha. And thanks anyway. I appreciate what you're saying, young man. But I also remember when you were not so discerning. Many moons ago, you along with Mr. Finish were involved in a little bit of conceptual installation yourselves. What? We, oui, monsieur. You, along with Arthur, were caught on candid camera participating in the dipstick's rendering of Salvador Dali's The Last Slapper. Eyes right, please, gentlemen. It's finished. 
But before we sign off, Marcel Mayim performs live in the studio. Giuseppe Eckhart describes his unique painting style. Better set the video for that one. And the dopey dipsticks believe they can fly, 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 fly.